What's up guys, it's Van from Canadian Video File coming to you on YouTube. Uh, this is our second video. Uh, it's been a while since we did the first one. Sorry, I apologize. It's We're gonna make this a consistent thing now. Um, moving on, we would like to share uh, about our inside stuff. What we do over here, like what, what we're how we do things and um, just kind of follow us to take a journey through a story through what we do uh, and i figured it's kind of a good timing right now given that the snakes and rumination also and they'll be coming out from breeding for breeding season here pretty quick um what, a couple three weeks like whatever. so it's getting close to me that's close because i know how you can get here you get pretty nuts in here especially when you have old tubs and cages full of like king snakes sometimes and you know tail rattling and they're going and the tail chasing and all that fun stuff so anyways it's music to my ears but uh anyways, moving on with um so the parents so i want to share with you guys from what i'm uh, anticipating this year hopefully fingers crossed i don't ever like announcing usually what i'm gonna have i never say i'm only gonna have i'm just gonna let you guys know what i'm hoping to put together and hopefully have um most of you know that i have king snakes and majority of my collection is also florida king snakes I have a lot of Florida King Snake Morphs I'm trying to work with and um, cross back and forth and create combos and all that fun stuff. So, uh, last year, if you guys followed me, I actually managed to create a couple of combos that were kind of fun here uh, with the Mosaic Gene. I'm going to be doing some of that again this year and hopefully maybe produce more of the white side of mosaics and the hypo mosaics, maybe, and whatever the ultra mosaic was that or weird panel of mosaic is, it'll be nice to see something like that and maybe make it available to you guys too. Um, I also have the New England Exantics, they're a lion bread, um, homozygous animal, exantic animal, a really crisp, clean animals. I should have some of those this year too. Um, there's a couple of cool combos I'm hoping to put together to create some hats that um, I'm looking to make available this year to you guys because last couple of years I've of course been trying to be putting my own combinations together holding back my own holdbacks and stuff like that for a while but this year we're going to be at this in the forefront I'm going to be making a couple pairings in here and we'll both be having a hat so let's work on this together and let's create some combinations for that. it's fun it's it's totally fun it's because it's fun right now especially with Florida King Snake Morris because even in the US where it did a, the, at the front of uh, the, the morph Thing with Florida is um, they, they're still guessing what this is and how does this work and how does genes in with Florida now that we're still trying to nail down how it actually is inherited so and uh, and there's lots of fun stuff like that that's happening right now so like you know being being on the front being on this side uh, with me through this process that is gonna be exciting for all of us so <clears throat> Anyways, more of that stuff along the way. I'm going to be talking a lot about Florida King Snakes, unfortunately. Sorry. Like, I love them. <laughs> well, I can't help it. But, uh, so we'll have a lot of that stuff this year. Um, hit me up if you have any kind of questions about any of the morphs. I'll be doing those morph profiles again. Um, when, especially when the adults come out too. Then you can see how the adult snakes actually look like. Uh, instead of just showing some of the grow-ups I have. Um, Moving on from Florida King Snakes, I also have a few other King Snakes I'm excited for this year. My Speckled Kings for the first time. I'm going to use my female um, that I've had for a few years, but I've never had success in finding a male soon enough. And I finally got a male and then a pair I brought up from the US and I raised the male up and now he's ready. Hopefully he's going to be up to the job. Um, also because uh, Speckled King Snake females can tend to be very Vegas with their mates also. So. Fingers crossed uh, on those guys. I love them. They're like the, the diamond pythons of the southeastern United States. That's, I, I just love them. Um, I also have uh, should have some there. I hopefully I got a multi snake fa phase male and a, and a uh, orange leone phase. I guess you could call it um, pairing this year. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of variety in there. Uh, last year that female didn't go. I don't think my brumation was um, up to snuff for what she needed. Uh, this year I went a little bit colder and tried a couple of little, little different things um, and hopefully we'll nail it this time. We should also have uh, Cal Kings this year. I got a pair of, pair of Cal Kings I'm going to put together this year. Uh, I've got Mexican Monk Snakes I'm going to put together this year. I've got um, 
what else have we got? Oh yeah, I got my uh, Desert King too. I'm hoping to produce some uh, hats with my Desert King female. I've got a snow male that I'll be making hats with. So <clears throat> you guys again, like you'll be these will be made available to you guys. So you can produce these stuff together with me, and, and that's all right. You know, it's not a. It, I don't believe in a ball python morph market where. It's just that cutthroat, like who's this, the, the, the edge is like, I love this, you love this, let's, let's just all do this together, it's, it's just fun. Um, anyways, going on from King Snakes and the Lampropeltis clade, um, we've got the rat snakes here now, we're talking like the North American rat snakes, I've got my Hypo Everglades that I've been excited about, I've been raising them up, a really good gift from a really good friend of mine from Florida, Scott McFarland. McFarland? <laughs> Sorry, man. Messed your name up, but uh, anyways, I hope we can see you soon this summer here. We might actually meet up actually for the first time there, but he's been a huge, you know, influence in, in what I do too. But anyways, so he's, he gave me these things a, a few years ago, and I've raised them up now, and, and, and I'm, I'm excited to actually put them together for the first time. So, Hypo, Everglades, Rat Snakes, and stunning animals. It just takes the Everglades Rat Snake and it just kind of makes it pop more. And, and I just love these animals because it, the temperaments were really good. Uh, even to start, even as adults, they, they, they coil and, and all that stuff, but it, when you pick them up, I've never been bit by one of them yet. Uh, phenomenal feeders and everything. So good genetics in there, really good genetics from Scott, man. But, um, and then I also have, um, I'll have my hat scaleless pair I'll be putting together also and hopefully producing some scaleless babies uh, this year again. Uh, last year produced one. Um, I'm really not really keen on producing that much scaleless stuff. I know a lot of you guys like scaleless stuff. I like the wild type look. Of uh, actually having scales, um, it's not too much to ask in this snake, I think. But in any case, it's still again. I, I I'm not opposed to having hats too, and I you know, and I, and I love the adults, so I get to enjoy the adults as, as what they are, as wild types. I get to produce scaleless stuff, so that you guys get to have some scaleless stuff. So um, that's that. And then I also have moving on to like the Asian stuff. I'm excited about my Japanese rat snakes. I'm pairing for the first time this year. Um, Phenomenal animals, I, I can't seem to go on enough about them sometimes, like, and, and the more I have them, the more I learn about them, it just they blow me away. Uh, that was kind of a sort of story that almost never happened because when I first got them, they were actually part of a trade, and, <clears throat> and it's just coming hard and calling about actually if I was going to do anything with them. <clears throat> after keeping them a little while and after seeing the temperaments, behaviors, and how they are, the body morphology, and their habits, habits and stuff, we might have adopted the North American rat snakes and then the Abigail's rat snakes especially in particular and especially as it grew in the color change anyone who keeps um, the Japanese rat snakes know that the color change as they grow and into the adult is just really whether you have the blue Kunashir face or I don't know if you pronounce it that way or not but uh, the blue face or the regular green emerald face um, still brilliant phenomenal looking animals um, very very underrated animals um, interestingly, also one of the most active animals in my brumation chamber, in my brumation room, because they're even at 45 degrees Fahrenheit, they're tongue flicking like they're just ready to go right now. It just, like, didn't slow them at all. Uh, moving on from those guys, I also have my Taiwan. So I should have my Taiwan again this year. Um, female produced last year, and she's she's grown in the half a year that she didn't since she had her eggs to eight feet. She was. A six foot female, the beginning, the same time last year, and she's coming out of brumation now, and she's an eight foot female. It's phenomenal female. I got her a long time ago from my buddy Chris Stone out east there. Shout out to you, brother. Uh, and um, just good genetics, beautiful animal. Stoked to produce babies from her again this year. So that's pretty much um, what I'd like to disclose so far. I still gotta keep a few secrets in there too for you guys uh, to keep it interesting. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll do this again. Uh, see you guys next week. But we're going to try to make this a regular thing. If you got any suggestions at all uh, that you want to hear me talk about or you want to discuss about, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you again from Bannon, Canadian Affiliate File.